there it is guys about a quart and a half of white oak I haven't had a big oak I haven't had a big load of white oak in a long time this is gonna be fun this is gonna be a new species being put through the beast so looking forward to get into it okay so I might as well leave the truck here because I'm gonna take mostly out of these crates there's one more crate behind there that I gotta move out there's one behind this on the bottom but I'm saving that for my other customer who I just delivered the face cord and a full cord too that's 18 inch so I'm taking all the 16 inch stuff and uh, that'll be I guess so this is three quarters of a crate and then that's another just over so all the three of these are a little over one crate so all three of these crates that's about two face cords and then I'm gonna put this in and then I got to take some from here this is some sugar maple in here and up there I got to throw down here and I got to cut into smoker wood I'm supposed to pick up sugar maple so maybe I can save this and not have to cut it and I can sell it then when I get that sugar maple picked up I can just Okay, so not done yet I got to put another half a crate in here at least I pulled out this birch that set over there because I'm going to throw it in here this is not quite a face cord and I'm selling this at a premium price it's good to get some cleared up here so I have some room to move around I don't like just filling all of these on the floor just like that right because then all your driest wood is on the bottom you know you're unloading from the top and you're going down so you want to have all the wood all the driest stuff first then the next set then the next set right and every year when you're selling firewood your pile alternates either you have a separate pile um, or a separate area for one set of wood you have another area for the second set the thing with when you sell firewood if you don't have two places to put your wood and keep them separate you know that's ideal but usually a lot of people have one space right if you're filling from one end as you go the wood at the end is going to be the driest right so come season time you might not have wood at the end that is not going to be that dry right so you can start at the other end which is drier and then as the time goes by then you can sell the stuff that's taking more time to dry and because you're emptying here you're now filling that section for the next year so that's going to be uh drier before you fill everything that's here so after you sold this pile you're filling in the, gradually as you go and then you keep alternating which side of the pile that you're using for the season it's slow out there you're finding it different? Yeah, it's slower, man. I'm selling more wood this year, but my other businesses, they're not that good. What else are you doing? I do the metal recycling. Yeah. And uh, I do um, junk removal. Yeah, yeah. And a few other things. Yeah. I'm not selling the smoker wood. That's where I make my money, right? Oh, okay. People can't afford meat anymore. Now certain people, I won't name names, they're telling us we should eat bugs. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'll tell you who it is after.
So lots of uh, black locust. There's a bit of red oak. There was a, the red oak came at the end. There's all kinds in here. There's pear, yeah, uh, nice. ash, elm, locust, Perfect. everything, cherry. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So, yeah, man. No, that's good. That's awesome. Now I'm finished for the day, I think. Yeah, no, you should be. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.